you were such a genuine person, you know. In times of struggle and uncertainty, he would always be there for me. Dad would always be there for me. Dad, I love you so much. I'm so sorry for what has happened to you. Rest in paradise. I was unsure what you wanted this morning, so I have basically laid out the entire fridge for you. Mm. How are you feeling today? I'm fine. You spoke very well. In front of everyone yesterday, I was impressed. Thank you, Donna. Did you have a good night's sleep? Not great. So much has been on my mind these past few days. Thank you for breakfast, Nana. Where's the stock? Stuff? The money. The money that you've owed me for weeks. You got it? I don't. I I just, I really need a gram right now. Please, Ken. My, my dad just died and, and now I've got no parents left and I, I really need you to just give me one gram, please. You owe me, Paul. You owe me big time. One gram. One damn gram. $19,000, mate. $19,000! Unless something very unfortunate is going to happen to you. I know exactly where all the people who are money to live. Hi, Nana. Hello, Paul. My goodness, what's happened to your neck? It's nothing, really. A, a branch hit me when I was riding home. I'll be fine. I see. Where did you end up going? Servo. Alright, I'll be upstairs now. See you later, Nana. Hang on, Paul. What's that you're holding? I'm sure maybe another condolences card. I'll read it later. Alright. Be well. See you, Nana. How are you feeling now, Paul? A lot better now, Nana. <sighs> I might have a nap now, though. Okay, Paul. Roast lamb will be served at 7.30. So come down in half an hour. Oh, beauty. <sighs> right. See you later, Nana.
please, please. Yeah, hello. I'd like to report the findings of a recently murdered person's head. Yeah. 114 Rigatoni Avenue. I found it in the front garden. Macintosh? Yes? You're under arrest for the murder of Robert McIntosh.